Hello, ladies, gents, and enthusiastic viewers pogged out of their minds. Welcome to the daily challenge of Spelunky. It is April, April 18th of 2020. Let's break this daily challenge curse. And I'm ready to let go of all the cursed fate that we have accrued so far. It's been just painful to deal with. And I think I have been properly punished by the Spelunky uh, engine. I think I have learned my my lesson. I have been taught proper humility. What is with the powder kegs? All weird like. They are extremely unnerving to find these powder kegs all over the place. Hopefully there will be no powder keg exploding straight into my face. I would appreciate that. If, for a change, you don't just blow my brains out and splatter them all over the walls with a powder keg. That would be a great plus of this Spelunky daily, daily Challenge. The Spelunky Daily Challenge is what I was trying to say there, but it got slightly mangled and then I committed to it. So that is what came out at the end. And now I need to over explain it a little bit. It's important to establish just how utterly incompetent you are at forming words and pronouncing them and then Owning up to the imperfections inside of your brain. Spelunky Daily Challenge has been a uh, rough history. A little upsetting. The salt continues to mount. But, like I have said several times before, there's only so much salt that I can accrue in a situation where, you know, I, my expectations couldn't be that much closer to rock bottom. I have been taught several times that life in Spelunky is cruel, short, and brutal. So, you know, don't don't try to expect any kind of uh, difference from other than pain, destruction, and sadness. Where is the shop? Oh, it's a bomb shop, baby. That makes it so that I'm going to put a bomb there just so I can not have to go the other way. Look at this bomb shop. Trapper's ill-conceived venture. Boy, was that correct. <laughs> it's very extremely ill-conceived. Extremely ill-conceived venture. Boy, did he have a terrible idea that that day in which he decided, you know what? You know what the Spelunky Caves need? You know what? Lunky Caves need a shop full of explosives for people to blow my brains out with them. You know what you guys need? To feed off the primeval man. Okay, can you please, Major Stupid? Uh, you know what? We have seven ropes. Why am I trying so damn hard to save myself in the ropes? That is just silly. Get this dog where he belongs in the arms of the many armed goddess. She will be petting him. At least with seven arms at once. That is just pure bliss. Don't try to guilt me into thinking, oh, that, that's a cruel fate. Absolutely not. I would pay good money. I would pay good money for that fate. So, you know, can't possibly say that was a cruel thing to do. I thought the ghost would come from the inside, but it didn't. It did not. Destroy this stuff. Get me that. That nice arrow trap triggered. Get some diamonds ghosted. <coughs> He's coughing, man. My wife pointed out at some point, you apologize for coughing, but then you burp straight into the microphone and make a show out of it. Like it's the funniest thing. Look, number one, I have a juvenile mind and I find that extremely amusing. If you don't, well, I guess my brand of quote-unquote humor Please, this shotgun jump <laughs> it is, uh, I suppose you and I don't gel together very much. So, uh, you know, why, why apologize for something that makes me chuckle? And two, she had a good point, so just stop apologizing for cuffs as well. It's just something that happens and you just have to own up to it as well. So now you get even less politeness, politeness and more rudeness from me. Aren't you happy that I had this intervention? 
Isn't that incredible? That now you get an even more disgusting sun into your brain and not even an apology for it. That's just the way I roll, baby. I'm a rebel. I'm a edgelord that cannot be contained, cannot be controlled. Oh, boy. Daily challenge, you know, it's like my bread and butter. This is something that I've established pretty, pretty consistently. I enjoy doing the daily challenge quite often. Not like every single day. Not like that. But I don't want to just stop doing. I'm going to burn this cobweb because I do not like the creepy crawlies. I want to creepy crawl into my butt, so I need to make sure no terrible things get trapped in there. Might as well keep this torch, but also keep this sh uh, shotgun. I've been doing a lot of non-standard stuff lately, and I would like to keep doing that, but still not let go of what I also enjoy doing, which is, you know, the daily challenge of Spelunky. Boy, there's a brothel over there. That disgusting bestiality permissing, permitting. Bestiality encouraging, not just permitting, but he's actually actively trying to get me to put nasty things into that dog's butthole. That poor dog has seen so much pain and suffering. We need to make sure it never happens again, even if it means erasing the dog from existence. This is this is a fine fate for Major Stupid. Uh, better, much much better than his former life. It's burning a bit along the ground. Surprised that the we're still not at the bottom of this level. We are at the bottom of this level. We were not. He just managed to jump out of it. Thankfully, no vault here, which means I don't have to go nuts in the ghosting department. That being said, <clears throat> we do want. To get some ghosting done, so I might end up dying horrendously to a ghost chasing me. I have established pretty damn clearly that I will not. Oh, I was supposed to actually ghost that. I've established pretty damn clearly that damn it, I'm going to get. Why wouldn't I ghost that? I'm, I'm, am I some kind of dumbass? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Don't kill me. Weird thing falling into my head. Good stuff. Weird things can have, fall into my head all the time. There's nothing to ghost here. There is an emerald over there. We can maybe get it ghosted if I get far enough. This should work. Yeah. It's alright. This is perfectly safe. 100% safe. No, no worries at all. That's what uh, we were aiming for. This has been triggered. Uh, there were some gems in the corners, didn't we? Find a whole bunch that I did not grab. And now they are... They are still ghostable-ish, but not worth giving myself a terrible headache and possible, possible spectralization by this ghost. So let's pass on that. We'll just grab the ones that we found down there. I am happy that there was no gem over there because I would have been morally obligated to ghost it. I would not have simply let it be. I am far too invested into this seed. I'm far too invested into spending a whole one hour into the mines and then dying horrendously when I failed at the black market. Some foolish gronk got me killed because I was too damn stupid. Oh boy. I was too damn stupid to account for their presence and then I, I end up getting... Uh, Face full of birdshot from all of these scum lords trying to destroy me. Let's trigger that arrow trap. I've been getting asked quite a lot about the remix that you are hearing right now in the music. It is Johann Martin. Johann Martin. He did it a while ago, maybe like a whole two years ago. He was remixing a few of the Spelunky tracks. And I forget how exactly I heard about it. I think he might have simply told me in the comments, like, hey, I, I totally created these remixes. See how you like them. I think that's how it was. It, it's been a long time. But indeed, they were super badass. And I told and I asked him, can I use these in the videos? Can I use this as a replacement of the music? 
and I believe I even requested some more. He actually composed one or two more because he was uh, really good. So you can find a link to his art in the description. I don't know if he even left the Spelunky ones available. I was in his, what is that, SoundCloud? SoundCloud page? I think it's a SoundCloud page. I was in his page the other day and uh, I could not see. I could not see the um, Spelunky remixes there, but I might have been a total idiot. There was no vault. Hmm. There's no vault in this series of levels. Did I just simply miss it? Did it not spawn? It's a mystery. We have plenty of ropes, might as well use in here. There's a key right there. Also, major stupid ghost in there. But I was checking out his music in general. Now, he's a one talented musician, so indeed. That's always in the description. Check it out. If you're into that kind of genre. You might enjoy it. Johan Hartman. Always thankful for his incredible Spelunky service. Making our Spelunky experience that much more enjoyable. Through this incredible slappers that he composed. So hopefully you find it in your heart to appreciate his artistry as well. There goes this junk over here. Unfortunately, no vault, but that doesn't mean we're not going to have enough money to feel real good about our retirement plan. We're going to get those high yield interest accounts and we'll be able to retire maybe at 62. We'll buy an RV, travel through the world. If we use a rope here, we have access to everything there is to offer. We can go store that junk and then go over to the rope and Continue matoking our way into the places by an RV, just travel through the country once so you know all the terrible things are over. There ought to be an end to the madness, right? This is not the new normal, it cannot be. You can't tell me. You cannot tell me. But life is like this now. It's exactly the same as it used to be. Just even less social contact. This is awesome. <laughs> From you know. From my personal perspective, obviously I don't consider it awesome. From the horrendous suffering that is causing all over the world, you know what I'm talking about. If you're a fellow nerd, and if you're watching this, it's extremely likely that you are. You know exactly uh, the conflicted feeling that you get about it. It's like, sweet, I get to interact a lot less with people now. It is now socially acceptable not to shake hands. It is now socially acceptable to not approach people? This is so awesome! <laughs> uh, you know, you balance that with the incredible never-ending misery that a significant percentage of the population is suffering through right now. It's in my mind because uh, we actually... My wife actually went to get tested for the COVID menace. Like I have said before, she is at higher risk. The doctor was like, you know what? You have a, these few symptoms that are related to the thing. So why don't we get you tested? It was quite a bizarre experience. There's no way I can go over up to the top of this place. So I'm just going to leave. And the jungle is going to yield the most incredible treasures of all time. It was a bizarre experience. You get the papers from the doctor. He gives you the papers or he faxes them if you're going to go a different day. Since we went the same day, he was like, okay, you can just take them there and I'll uh, give them more ahead of time. Something like that so we can have access to this money. So you take the papers, you go to the spot. It's a drive through testing area. Drive up to the police car that has, oh boy, has, oh boy. How about you catch one of these? Actually, I could have simply whipped them. There was no need to be so damn aggressive. I just wanted to be showy. It needed to be show offy. Fancy show offy foods. Like fruit salad. Hmm. I'm cutting through here, maybe. I would like to have the ability to murder you back. 
Nothing in this. All belongs to me. All right. Get frogged. Give me that. Sweet, sweet health. Mm hmm. Is there are ropes. I mean, that's uh, the only oh, saving grace on this entire circumstance. Being able to have some ropes to get around places. Yeah. You got stumped, bitch. So you approach the police car. Through a moderate amount of yelling, you get instructed. You give your name and you get instructed to go places. I don't know why I dropped. Oh, yeah, of course, because we want Major Stupid to come with us. We're dog saviors. We don't simply. You know what? I'm sure there will be something to impale this man down there. I am sure there's some kind of danger that he will suffer from. Oh, there's a shop. Eh, I'll let you do it. I'll let you do what you will, monkey. Well, there goes Major Stupid getting painfully interacted with. And you know what? You know what? This is be going to be the most incredible bomb of all time. It was not. Plot twist. It was not. I hate this. Okay, he's, he came out. Instead of horrible dangers for my enemies to suffer through, instead of that, I am suffering through their nonsense. But thankfully, that worked out. Everything worked out beautifully. Give me that money. Unfortunately, nothing got ghosted. So after all the yelling with the police car, you instructed to go go over to lane one. It was deserted. We were the only people there. Go over to lane one. You drive through it. There's this this tent-like area where they have set up all kinds of of uh, coverage and stuff. So only you are the only person that can be seen. <laughs> Kind of challenging to get around to all these gems. It's pretty damn infuriating. This is a bad idea. Coming over here. Whoa! <laughs> oh boy! We're going to have to rope out of his, and this is uh, quite the annoyance. You son of a bitch. Drive through the whole place, so they tell you, don't you freaking dare roll down your windows. I mean, maybe with a slightly more gentle language but you know the, the intention is there don't you freaking dare roll down your windows until we tell you to have your id ready and just press it against the window you disgusting play carrying son of a bitch and you do that you go in there you press the id to the lady that drives you in tells you okay go ahead into the actual testing area you drive in with your ro windows rolled up and a, a sense of dread in your gut Get up to this person that is just deck up to the nines in biohazard gear. It's like she's going to step into freaking Chernobyl. Can I maybe make this jump? I don't think so. I want to get back up there. I would appreciate it. She's about to step into a Chernobyl uh, reaction reactor, just about to go full meltdown. That is the look that this lady had. Can I get those two ghosted, please? I would appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. And she comes over with her kit. And she instructs you, she asks you again who the hell you are. Whoopla. You tell her. And they instructs you, okay, roll down the passenger side window. Gets her metal swab. It's like a thin metal wire with a cotton swab at the, at the end of it. And tells you, tilt back your head. I could have sworn I could have made that jump. I should be able to. Damn it, there's two emeralds over there. I must have them. They belong to me now. They exist in the map. Therefore, they must exist exist as diamonds in my pocket. 59 bombs. Just now realized. Well, this is damage. <laughs> Thankfully, we have plenty of health to go around. Pretty damn annoying to get these gems ghosted. Like, there's no way to ghost this one unless I use another bomb. I think I'm just going to grab it. It's just too much work. Too much pain. So my wife, she tilts her head back. She, the testing lady, jabs that thing right up there. It's not just a gentle swab, let me tell you that much. Uh, just like this. It's, uh, it's really damn invasive. 
just they jab it right in there, like they're scraping the inside of your brain. And according to her experience, she was like, it hurts at first, then it's extremely uncomfortable and you have to hold it there for like 15 seconds. That is the, the time that they tell you. You know what, just grab that. Uh, so they hold it in there, that swab, at the very back of your freaking nostril. nostril. Is there a way down that I don't get full damage? That would be amazing. I guess we'll go down this way. I think I'm good. Like, uh, there's no need to do anything else. I'm not even going to ghost, ghost you. That is the disrespect that I have for you. So does that, they pick up their sample, tell you to immediately roll up that window. The Hibai has our lady, takes their stuff. Okay, see you later. And then they want you to get the hell out of there as soon as possible. Like they treat you like you came in there with the most disgusting infectious disease that you could possibly conceive. And in a way, I guess that is kind of the truth. So, you know. I mean, I'm not saying without a reason. It's like we were going, like, it was like just in case. Because of the silly, oh boy, dismissible symptoms that there's no way we could have possibly contracted this thing. Because we've been isolating since pretty much it all started. We were one of the first peoples to just hold up. So I have no way, I cannot possibly imagine it being a thing. This idiot has been stunned and we might get some forgiveness. Oh no, uh, that scum lord is actually ready to murder me. I want to do something like that so I don't get tiki trapped. This guy, he is dead meat, the one that is next to the damsel. He's holding her hostage. What a piece of garbage that he is. I'm trying to wait for this guy to go away so I can do something like this. And he's going to step up. Nice. He gonna be dead. Uh, there's no real reason to go in there, but... Oh, my Matok has been destroyed. All right. Wait. Can I maybe make it? Oosh. What is this shotgun jumping? What is this shotgun jumping? This is for shame. Guarantee you this is possible. There we are. I don't think there's a reason to go in there other than to maybe look for the black market. We will grab the idol. I think it's worth it to just use a bomb on a rope because getting back. I mean, I did use the ropes here to get back up, so might as well use them. Poor Jackie. Jackie the prostitute. I guess she'd be Scarlet the prostitute. She got absolutely destroyed by that maniac. Uh, this is a good bomb location. I'll be able to get back. Oh. I don't, yeah, belongs to me. No monkey for you, Callie. This goes straight to the exit. No black market, huh? No early black market. This might mean we also don't get any vault in this particular location either. I mean, let's get this sapphire first and then we can roll all the way up to the other gem and then we'll be gone pretty damn trashy scene like lots and lots of bombs that's the amazing part so i wouldn't call it trashy let me retract that more like incomplete like slightly frustrating let's do something like this there you are something frustrating not being able to navigate these levels properly properly but oh yeah there's also a kali out there that only just now registering my cognition so Let's get that done. There you go. And there are... There's a corpse and two shopkeepers. And we already put a live dog in Kali's arms. So this should be a perfectly cromulent option to get that nice kapala. And in fact, it might make sense to leave all these monsters alive so that we have some blood to collect. Is it a smart idea to get in there though? I don't think so. Is this going to be enough points on? No, no, we'll need also Woo. <laughs> the shopkeeper. I ain't, I ain't got no time to waste. We're just going to hop around this ghost. 
Like we are the frog to its spelunker. That's how we do. You can even go in here and harvest zero blood whatsoever. Oh, you harvest it a little bit. Let's not fail this jump. Alright, off we go to a uh, shotgun. We got a Kapala. Things are looking up. And now it's just a matter of finding that black market. So that's this is the amazing events of the week. Thing is though, oh boy, lots of pain going on. Lots of pain. There should be a black market right over here. Can I have this determination of not talking idly about the Corvid menace? But when it affects me and my life, I will tell you about it. Which is in Fairbanks, Alaska. Somehow it's kind of calmed down. Like, you get zero cases so far four days in a row. And, you know, it's a pretty well-established fact that actual cases and reported cases are two very different things. But still, you know, it, it correlates to some extent. So it is encouraging and also slightly frustrating. For somebody that is 100% prepared to just shelter in place um, to get this development because like oh maybe maybe it's a perfectly fine and dandy course of action to just go back into work and at the very least while this is going on the the, the lull the lulls in the in the progress of the disease it's perfectly reasonable to say I'm going to go back to work, be cautious, but it seems like it's uh, perfectly fine. While wearing a mask, all that stuff is just not spreading like crazy. Like uh, we anticipated it to spread in New York type of levels, in freaking Iran type of levels. It didn't. Not in Fairbanks, Alaska. I really don't want to use more ropes here, but I. Uh, can afford. Kind of resent the fact that we uh, that this level is so damn torturous. This guy can kind of get up here, so let's give him white birth. And in fact, you know what? This level is kind of trash. I don't think it's worth ghosting Jack Diddly Squat. So let's grab a shotgun, grab all the gems that we may have seen, and we'll go into the black market. Call it a day. And at the very least, I might be able to ghost a billion things in the black market and in the ice caves. But as it stands, it's just not worth sticking around. Let's just go. There's so often, so few chances that we get of getting... Uh, oh boy, was that a right choice. This is a bad idea. I almost died just now. I hope that you appreciate it. That is not what I intended. This should be safe, right? Just go in there, start shooting. Perfectly safe. We don't often get this chance of getting through the black market unscathed. Oh, Mandy, aren't you a danger? Let me just shoot your corpse in a thousand different ways. Please, you are. A perfect meat shield. Oh boy. A perfect meat shield and then a freaking gronk. They have a tendency to bounce, bounce, bounce and then come and murder you here, so pretty damn important to uh, be careful there. Alright, that goes down. You know what? You can do it like so. I was about to get up, so I felt pretty damn confident just throwing one. Please give me something amazing in that shop. At least a few ropes, not even climbing gloves. This seed... It's just bomb galore, and that's it. Just a million bombs. Hey, some spring shoes, though. It's fantastic, and I'm going to just put a bomb there, and very gently and patiently get some shots into this hole. Destroy you. I am not trusting you. Sh uh, shopkeeper music. I will not trust you in the slightest. But I think I should trust it now. So, anyway, we're now in this situation. I think this bomb is a fantastic bomb. We're now in this situation where we have so many bombs, we just are going to liberate one gem at a time. And it's going to be glorious. Can I 
maybe stick that. That's not gonna work. Fail. Quit life. Sunk cost fallacy. Do not spend another bomb. I mean, does it matter now? Not really. In the sense of now you're in the situation where you're still spending one bumper gem. I guess I'll do it. It'll drop right down to the other one. Nice. Alrighty. We got some good ghosting going on here. It's going to happen. It's going to be glorious. And I'm going to be very, very pleased with my performance. And if there is a vault in the next level and we're able to ghost it effectively, this scene is not going to be too awful. There's a good chance that we're going to get wrecked by the in a complete inability to use even climbing gloves. But hopefully that's not going to be a factor. We do have a billion ropes now. Or rather, nine. A billion and nine. Pretty close numbers. I will say that that's pretty damn comparable. So, you know, no, not inaccurate speech right there. Give me this money. Oh, yeah. I'm entitled to it. I murder for it. Therefore, it belongs to me. That's how it works back in the streets where I'm from. I don't like this freaking ticket trap from stopping being an impediment to my life. So yeah, that's been... That's been uh, the haps, as the kids say. You know, I'm, I'm a hip guy. I will use all kinds of... Of, uh, of, of modern parlant, parlance. I'm just that kind of an incredibly... Incredibly youth, self-actualized uh, actualized person. I very much connect with the younger generations. My uh, analytics say that at least 50% of you guys are 12-year-olds. So, welcome to the channel. You guys still uh, drink from bibs, right? Is that what 12-year-olds do? They drink from bibs and they yell at each other on... On team speak, that's how it works. You know what? We're doing that. We're going to do that. We're gonna murder that piece of garbage. Because there's three gems that I must have. Absolutely must. And I am not leaving them behind. Oh, but the emerald ain't gonna work. And they are going to drop in inconvenient places. You know what? That last bomb was a waste. I'm going to leave them behind. Because I'm a filthy coward. And I'm okay with it. I have made peace with my cowardice. So here we are in the ice caves. We love the ice caves. It's a great, great place to make all kinds of money. Off you go. Explosions happen. Oh man, another compass soon. Voltron shall be assembled. And then we'll be ready to take on this super shopkeeper construct that happens. Here we have a slightly challenging shopkeeper scum lord. Oh my shotgun. my shotgun! It's all good. Slightly challenging shopkeeper scum lord. This problem shall be solved. Um, I don't think this is gonna work, but I, I did it anyway because I'm an idiot. Actually, you just get close, right? You just get close. I don't want to use a rope though. I guess I'll use a rope. I mean, I do have to get back, right? So just do something like this and just watch him collapse. By the way, we never got a freaking vault in the jungle, and we never got a freaking vault in the mines. So that makes me realize immediately that this seed is absolute garbage. <laughs> it's like you can never have everything you want. You either get seeds that are completely out of uh, bombs, and then you get all kinds of materials. You get seeds that have all the bombs, but everything else is missing. Oh boy, let's please Cali even further. There you go. Give me some extra good stuff. We could use this to make it up there, but this seems like a extremely stupid way of doing things. The way my voice faltered there totally reminded me of the movie that we watched last night. It is her, which 
I, kn I was aware of way, way back. Good stuff. But I never got around to watching it. It's a movie in which Joaquin, Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix falls in love with Scarlett Johansson. But the catch is that Scarlett Johansson is an AI inside a computer. She's an operative system. And Joaquin Phoenix is a complete loser. And we were watching that. I believe we had a great time. It was, it's a great movie. You really connect to the characters and that kind of stuff. It's a it's an accomplishment, really, because you have this character that is just just fully 100% just voice, and it is so well written that you actually connect with it and you have uh, you know you actually give a damn about what happens and uh, it raises if you buy into the premise, which is in the future operative systems become AIs and then you can install a person into your computer and it's immediately a person it doesn't have a period of of learning to to adapt to human speech and all that stuff it starts like a, a complete person and it's a basically a, a your standard talking ai it's like a person inside your computer but it has the processing capability of a computer so it can search the internet and read books in milliseconds that kind of you know the, the typical stuff though that we have come to experience a trope of the genre if you buy into that you say all right i accept this premise if you get there then it's a it's a very thought-provoking thing i'm not going to spoil spoil stuff in case you're interested in it but the thing is the main character he, let's say that he's not the strongest man ever to walk the face of earth we were watching and i was like this guy he's like the seminal soy boy. I know that this ha that has become a overused cliche of internet speak these days. But I think this was published at around not published though. This movie was out like 2013, 2014. I did not look it up, but it's very much close to to those dates. Uh, and that's about when the soy boy whole thing, soy boy paradigm started being uh, in the mainstream and this guy he is so extremely beta he's almost like a gamma male <laughs> he's so freaking indecisive always blaming everything else for his emo like his emotional maturity is comparable to a neck plant it's this guy who's just a total loser not a total loser, like, he has a, a pain job. He's just a really sensitive type. You know the... have you watched... Oh, what was the name of that? That movie. Freaking, uh... What's his name? Brendan Fraser makes a deal with the she-devil. And he gets all these wishes, and but it all backfire, backfires on him. I forget the name of it now. Oh, this upsets me. One of the, the best Brendan Fraser movies of all time. I mean, you know, if you don't count the freaking mummy. Oh, now it's gonna bother me and I'm going to have to look it up and then you guys are going to humiliate me in the comments. You're going to tell it, is this movie you retard? I will be called terrible names because I wasn't able to come up with the name of the movie. Damn it. Anyway. There's a sequence in that movie in which Brandon Fraser is uh, Brendan Fraser, not Brandon Fraser. Um, is super hypersensitive. It reminded me of that guy, and it's like, is this man the seminal, the patient zero, or the soy boy? I don't have a punchline for it. I'm just. Uh, Dropping it out there. This is an observation that I think is totally, totally for real. Like, because it presents him. The thing is, the movie doesn't glorify him. He doesn't say that this man's type is the type you want to be. Like, the man struggles and he's kind of uh, gross in the sense of he becomes less indecisive and less of a massive pussy. But <laughs> um, it doesn't 
particular to say that it's, it's a terrible thing either. Just kind of middle ground. It does a good job at presenting a type of person that uh, is simply flawed. It's just the typical really socially inept nerd who falls in love with an AI. And, you know, the questions that he asked and the things that he says about human AI relationships, it's nothing super new at the time, I think. It was more groundbreaking than when we watched it yesterday. It's become a little bit more of a, of a cliche or a trope. There's nothing really to be ghosted here. I don't know even why I'm a ghosted anymore because we have the seed that is not complete garbage, but two vaults down. It's like, ugh. This is not going places. This seed ain't going places. And now I'm just sticking around to maybe make a little bit more money. To humiliate the people in the leaderboard. That's it. And of course, you know, to have a good daily challenge that goes long. And I can finally say the curse is lifted. Even though the seed was atrocious in the sense of no navigational items and uh, not a whole lot of cash. Well, we made it work anyway. We played the hard mode and we succeeded. So I should be glad about it. Not much to do here. Very quickly, the lack of navigational items is really starting to, ma to matter. It's really starting to matter the way that I can't really get around and get back without using ropes. So I think it's the time to stop it with the ghosted attempts. Can't even get around this area. It's pretty damn infuriating. I like Kali Altar there. Is there a reason to get invigoration? Hell yeah. We'll get this battered dog. It is not animal abuse. When you do it nicely, you smile as you get that whip. Don't make it creepy though. Don't don't smile like you're enjoying the whipping. Just smile like, you know, reassuring. Like you're approaching approaching that unsuspecting young lady around the corner. And you just want to look harmless. You make that approach. You know what? You know what? This second bomb is going to be legendary. Ooh. Well, I didn't get ya, but it worked out anyway. <laughs> I think it's because some stuff dropped onto him. So he got alerted before the second bomb reached him. Don't kill me, brother. I guess there's nothing else to do here. So we're leaving. Whop, 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 whop. Pretty damn depressing ice caves and depressing seed overall where money is concerned. There's the mothership though. Been a little while since we've been there. In a daily challenge. Been a long time. Oh, don't murder me. Been a long, long time, in fact. What you got? You're a gronk, aren't you? No? Hey, finally! Some climbing gloves for me. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab everything. All oh, these climbing gloves change everything. Now I can finally reach my full potential. I'll get my final transformation and then I shall be able to reach the ultimate power level that enable me to destroy each and every one of these scum scumlords. Yep. Nothing else to be done here really. Wow. This uh, level is also trash where money is concerned. Look at all these areas with nothing. Just empty space over here. What is this nonsense? Redonkulous. Let me just get over here. Murder you. Don't full damage me. Here I am, trying to do an honest... Make an honest living. I need to have that money, though. I have to. Okay, I'll just leave it. Um, <laughs> it belongs to me, alright? I did all kinds of crimes for it. And I'm going to use... The ultimate power of my stealing capabilities. Just wait. Wait for this mammoth to turn around. What are you trying to do? Trying to be in a hurry? Trying to do foolish things? There's not even a reason to go nothing here. Wow. What a garbage <laughs> ice case. That was awful. I think that we had left like two gems behind. At this point, I don't even care. 
just leave them behind. Just keep on going. Uh, just out of spite at this point. We're entering these areas and we're embracing chaos. Just trying to get as much blood as possible. Survive to the city of gold. Blow it up to pieces. You're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me, scum lord. Actually, you opened the, the door for me. Thank you. Nice. Good stuff. It's ready to bombard. Poor shame. Let all that be. Get it destroyed. Actually, go up there. Good stuff. Uh, the exit is right above us, so we don't have to. We don't want to go up there just yet. Um, a little annoying. We got this plasma cannon, but not too bad. Make sure that everything goes away. We got purple cla crap tosser. Very, very close by. It's opening up the area, and in fact. We might have to rope here. Let's make sure that we have a good line of fire to the alien lord. And also destroy the teleporters here. There you are. Kabumo! You got wrecked. Don't want to use my last uh my last rope though. Can we maybe do something like this? Nope, nope, nope. Quite a challenge here. Ooh, off we go. <laughs> well, this is annoying. Maybe not get immediately destroyed. <laughs> oh, this is not even working. Yeah, that's not gonna work, is it? Is it going to kill me? Yep, it is going to kill me. I had to risk it. I had to get it. I should have simply bombed, right? This is a fantastic way to end it, though. This is like a perfect, perfect ending to a daily challenge that was going really nowhere. So not even, not even bad. I'm going to accept it. But this is the way to go. I could have simply bombed the tele, the, the, the bouncy platform. But instead, I embrace the permanent death that comes from the permanent stunt of something bouncing on a bouncy platform and you cannot whip it off. So... Just like all the times that I can't whip it out, I'm just going to stew in frustration. I never show that dick pic to anybody. See you guys in the next one. Until then, don't give in to despair. <laughs>